of heaven, the sweetness of your word, the sweetness of your word that is a mighty sword that can break down strongholds and break everything that we need. Together, we reign and rule with you, priests and kings in heavenly places. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. I believe the, the Father is saying that he is doing a deep cleansing in our nation and that he's doing a deep cleansing in the wells of salvation. And he's bringing his people to a deeper cleansing. He's bringing us to the labor. And he's asking tonight, who can ascend the holy hill but those with a, a pure, clean hands and a pure heart? He's calling us to holiness in a deeper and more profound way than he ever has. And he would draw us closer, even closer into the holy of holies, into the very place where the Ark of the Covenant, where we could come. And even as Noah entered the Ark of the Covenant, his Ark of the Covenant in his day. So in these days, we shall enter into the Ark of the Covenant and be completely covered and completely safe and completely brought into the safe harbor because the Father has a great promise for us right now. He is so in charge. <laughs> So come into the Holy of Holies today. Enter there through the laver. Come in, my friends, to the covenant where you will partake with him, where you will offer praises, and where you will offer your worship unto him. And then he will bring you within the veil. Because we're right there. That's where we are. God, I heard the Lord say, our praise and worship was just such a sweet smelling incense in his nostrils, just such a fragrant fragrance. And he also said he does not lose his smell on the count of COVID. I, I, I just had to say that because that's what God said. But anyway. I had a word of encouragement. Did you say apples and honey? Yes. Apples and honey. This is from Terry Rosen, a Messianic sister husband David in uh, Harrisburg. I welcomed her being a Messianic Christian yesterday. Shana Tova, Happy New Year. And she sent to just a little bit ago, thank you, my brother. You love you too, too. Apples and honey in the icons. She's never done that before. Apples, a heart, a red apple, a honey pot, and a green apple. What the Lord told me was that he always has, but in this season, everybody is getting a piece. Everybody, he's always done that. You might not get the whole word or the vision, but do not hesitate, as silly as it may seem, to voice what he tells you, because when it connects to what he's telling other people, then the picture gets completed, it makes sense, and it encourages the word that was given. So that's why I wanted to share that. <laughs> yeah, there it is. There it is. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Any other senses? Oh, Cheryl. Why we were worshiping, I had the same sense about the uh, sweetness. And and um, I just, I, I felt that he was wooing me even with his, because I was bringing my whole heart to him and and he was dancing with me he just wanted to dance with me and um i i just was like oh so overtaken and um then this verse says let israel rejoice in their maker let the children of zion be joyful in their king let them praise his name with the dance let them sing praises to him with the timbrel and harp, for the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He will beautify the humble with salvation. Yeah. We've said it before, we'll say it again. God really, really, really likes you. Okay, we need you. We, 
We need to hear that, though. The, we understand the love part pretty good, although there's a lot to explore in just that area. But the like part, he really enjoys your company. So much so that he sent his son to die so that he can move into you. That's how much he likes you. He paid a very expensive price for his dream house. A very expensive price. You're worth more than a $30 million house, which, by the way, is the most expensive house on the market in Idaho right now. Is a $30 million house on Lake Coeur d'Alene. You're worth more. How much is the blood of Jesus worth? And that's exactly how he sees your value. He paid the priceless. He gave the priceless to pay for the priceless. So he can move in. Then he comes in and he finds all these closets yeah. full of old junk and spider webs. He and remodels. he starts cleaning them out. Demo and remodel. Demo yeah. and remodel. Yeah. And he doesn't flip it to sell it. He flips it so we can be happy in it too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's the we. It's the we. <laughs> I'm gonna, we're going to get into it later this month, Lord willing, but Father plus Son plus Holy Spirit plus you equals we. We're going we're gonna to talk about we-denity. <laughs> that's, that's coming. That's a foretaste. So, Lord, thank you for establishing in us <sighs> establishing in us the fullness of what you paid for. this day Lord in this time that we live in the it is finished declaration that you made on the cross that we live in it we can't improve on it we can't add to it it's finished so that we live in the fullness of the finished work of Jesus Christ Thank you, Abba, for bringing us more and more into what we already have. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There's, there's angelic presence here. I feel it. Some of them are on assignment to bring healing and minister tonight to you. But I also feel like some are waiting for us to assign them according to what we're hearing from the Lord. And so, Lord, in this time... This is the season that you have appointed this assignment. We release the assignment to the angels, 
the ones that are set aside for this purpose, we release this assignment. Minister to us and bring us into that, that release the spirit of wisdom and revelation of bringing us into the fullness of the finished work of Jesus Christ. We, we dispatch you in the name of Jesus, in the name of our Father, to carry out this assignment to not only this house we want to send you out to other parts of the body right now to release the same in all the body in this whole region right here eastern Washington north Idaho western Montana we're going to grab a little British Columbia too Uh, Northeast Oregon, right there. We're going to partner with Kevin, too. We're going to throw in Southern Idaho and Eastern Oregon right now. And then Wyoming. We're just loving on you, Wyoming. Yeah, stretch it out to Nevada down there. Just keep expanding in your spirit. Keep expanding in the spirit. Lord, we, we continue, we throw it over to Seattle, Lord, to the west coast right here, Lord. All, all those places that are so in need of the gospel, so in need, Lord, Seattle, Portland, Los Angeles, Lord, San Francisco, Lord, thank you, San Diego, Lord, all those cities, all those areas, Lord Jesus, thank you for, Lord, Arizona, Mexico, Canada. Go ahead, stretch it out to the East Coast now, Lord. We send it to the East Coast, Lord, to D.C. Thank you, Lord, for, for the East Coastline and for the South right now, particularly after getting hit by the storm. Ida, Lord, we bless them with the gospel of Jesus Christ. The assignments go out right now with these angels to dispatch the revelation and the fullness of what has been purchased for us through the blood of Jesus Christ, that that revelation resonates within the body and it causes a reformation of our relationship with the Father. It causes a reformation of how we live on the earth. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We declare a time coming where the body of Christ will look just like her head and be in proportion to the enormity of her head. Ah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we include Europe right now and Africa, the Middle East, Russia, China, the island nations all in there, Australia, Japan. Get them, God. Get them, God. Thank you, Lord, for this revelation spreading across the earth, Lord. It's your glory. It's your glory. It's the glory of the sun. The glory of the sun and your glory covers the earth as the waters cover the seas. Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. This is the time. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. He did another one of those just before you said it is finished. Look what I wrote. It is finish. Finish. Yeah. I said, what does that mean? He it said, finish. Finland. Right. I said, <laughs> he's going, it is finished. And I'm going, it is finish. He speaks to us all differently. That's how he made us. Thank God. We're not bobbleheading here. I said, what do you mean? He says, look up the capital. You were asleep during geography. Look up the capital. <laughs> I went Helsinki. 
He says, that's it. Hell is sinking. That's how he speaks to me. We play, he plays word games. We play word games back and forth. And because that's how he speaks to me. That's not a template of prophetic stuff. He'll speak to you however he speaks to you. But he goes, Helsinki. He says, the effects of hell in this country is now sinking. Amen. We have turned the tide. And he also said, Finnish, Finland, Finn, Finn, a Finn, swimming, swimming. Someone, and it doesn't have to be a Finnish descent, may have had a tragedy or a near tragedy in and around swimming, like in a lake or the ocean. And he wants to now take, even though that's been dealt with, he wants to deal the vestiges of that heart. Was that something? Our both, both saints and Catalina. Okay, well, we're just going to take your hand, all of us together, okay? Just together. It's not me, it's him, and it's us. We don't, with, without words, we become into session. If you got words, they're good. But I'm just saying we're just going to release the substance of heaven. The same substance that created the universe. The same substance that rose Jesus from the dead. Great deal of fear. Yeah, just love. Terrible fear. Well, yes. Terrible fear. I mean, he's given me this during worship because he hadn't given me a lot today. He says, I'll give it to you later. You're tired now, you're not listening anyways. I was I was tired. So don't beat yourself up. I was did I tell you that? Did I yeah? Not in those words. You are a funny man. I'm a funny man. So I, so I was in I was on the right line at the time. No, you're over there. you you get that you get you get funny. Oh thank you. <laughs> Pat Holleran who's in heaven now is a dear friend of mine. We're not done yet. The good news is I was working on a model airplane for my grandson and I've used super glue. <laughs> Honey, we have a new ministry partner. <laughs> God bless you. As grandfather used to say, you got the joy in your eyes, you do. Look at you. You're like a ray of sunshine coming over the Wicklow Hills on a summer morning. I feel like I'm going down with the boat. <laughs> going down, down, down. All of that is... It's the love boat, <laughs> exciting yeah. and new. Yeah, it really was. No. We're training A-teamers. Now, I'm not an old guy. I'm a mature, a mature gentleman, all right? <laughs> <laughs> and we're training 18 to 25-year-olds, A-teams. I don't make the deal. No, it's all right. But I was training them, and I'm giving old guy TV analogies, like the love boat. Now, the reason I use a love boat is because they were young and they're new and they're in ministry, and some, they were getting Twitterpated, a couple of them, and I said, uh-uh, we don't do that. We're not here. This is not the love boat, and I'm not Isaac. <laughs> no, I'm amongst my own people. Isaac was the bartender, and there's usually three or four scenarios. Wayne Anderson, my spiritual father, goes, oh, back of them, stop, 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 time out. They don't have a clue what you're talking about. That TV is so old, it's not even on Nick at night. I said, I said, I said, what do you mean? They, and, they, and they're all grinning. And do you know what? They, nobody, not one of them knew what I was talking about. I was saying, take a phone number, take an email. When you're off tour, let your heart get Twitter pater. But I'm not Isaac, and this isn't a love boat. So the love boat is exciting and new. Thank you. I love that show. I did. Thank you. I'm amongst my own people. Thank you. <laughs> See, God will speak to us. However, he wants to speak to us. Now, I haven't been out. I've been ministering in um, supermarkets <laughs> and different. We go. We don't. We. You know. The Lord told me. Uh, I don't know if it happened the last time I was here. If I told that story about we're we're new in Idaho, and so I was going to Costco to get something. Mark says, No, 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 no. We're supposed to go to Winco. And I went, You sure? He said, eh. Me and the man of authority. I turn right, going to Winco, right? And what we wanted wasn't there. It was a piece of meat that I wanted to get. It wasn't there. And so we get some vegetables. And I go to the little checkout, self-checkout thing, because we only had a few vegetables. And I was good until we get to the bananas, the bananas, because I didn't have the number for the bananas. 
And so I needed help. Like, you know, what are the bananas? 453 or 555? Five, five, five. If they're 666, I don't want them. <laughs> No, actually, 666 is good. God owns all the numbers. You don't like 666, stand on your head, it's 999. <laughs> it's all good. I just, it'll, it'll switch it, it's all good. So anyways, I said to the lady, uh, could, you, could you help me? And she says, I'm leaving. I've been here eight hours. And the other lady comes in, and she's limping. She's got a brace on her leg, like she'd just been hurt. And she's, and, and so my wife, God bless her, that's why you're supposed to go out in twos. My wife picks this right up. You don't have to be a prophet, the lady's limping. And she hears her say, I hope I make the shift. I just came from the doctor's. I hurt my knee. And, 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 and Cynthia goes, did I hear you say, hurt your knee? <laughs> and she turns to me. <clears throat> I wake up out of my funk. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. We're, 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 that's right. The, the, yeah, I'm the, the gift you are. So I says, um, I'm not crazy. I'm, 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 I'm crazy, but not for the way you might think. Is it OK? I'm in ministry. And this is not a good introduction, but could we pray for your knee? And she grabs my hand and goes, oh, please, and whacks it on her knee. <laughs> and I'm like this. Meanwhile, we're in the express line, and there's people backing up. And they're tired, and they want to pay for their bananas. They know their numbers. <laughs> you know, they're, 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 and, and, and the people, and so you, what you, you take the atmosphere. You're always playing a home game with God. Excuse me, God's healing this lady's leg. Can we just have a minute? And now they're backing up. <laughs> But I just took the atmosphere. And, as a, and so I said, I didn't pray because I, I was flummoxed in the middle of Winco. I forgot the knee prayer. <laughs> so, and I get my hand, and I get my hand there, and I said, feel the heat, feel the heat right now. God's doing a miracle. God's doing a miracle right here, right now. We're in that season. Proclamation right here, right now. The open mouth, pay, P-E-Y, the, the Jewish symbol is like an open mouth. You hear what the Lord is saying, release it. Hear what he says, bang, right there. And so she goes, I can feel the heat, I can feel the heat, I can feel the heat. She goes, can I take my brace off? I said, please, please, please. Now the people are really backing up. I mean, they're like, and it's like, I mean, I've seen this on YouTube in like Africa, but not in Winco and Napa, right? And, and seriously, and she starts jumping up and down. I've been healed, I've been healed. And she runs, she just come on the thing, and now no one's at the place. And, and she goes, where are you going? She says, I got to get a pen and a paper. I'll be right back. What's your name? How did you do this? Well, if that isn't an opening for evangelism, <laughs> does this work for anybody? It works for everybody. My mother's got cancer. Come here, I want your phone number. Just like that. It's that season. What the Lord says to me was, not that I don't want you to go to church, but I want you to shop more. <laughs> Just what he said. Like when they asked Bill Johnson in Reading, they, they said, could we join your evangelistic teams? And they said, well, we, we, we don't have teams like that. What we do is we have shoppers. <laughs> we take who we are and we go out. And we do it wherever we go as the Lord leads, you know? And I remember that. I was telling the story today. My spiritual father, Wayne Anderson, told me these words. Kevin, delayed obedience is not obedience at all. So if you don't be obedient, <laughs> repent. Ask the Holy Spirit for a second chance. Yeah. Just don't put your head. Stop. Acknowledge your mess. You didn't do it. It's okay. I love you. Ask for another chance. So I did. So now I'm new in ministry, and I'm going on my first mission trip. Is it okay if I tell the story? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good. Go, Jesus called them parables. So I'm going on my it, it all ties in. All right? So <laughs> I hope. <laughs> <laughs> and if it does, we're having a good time anyway. Thank you very much. But it's all about the Word and the Spirit. Begins with the Word, ends with the Word, and by the Spirit. So anyways, so I'm, I'm at the airport, and the guy trips over my leg, and he's all dressed up. Uh, Mr., this guy was a super, super businessman, and I'm new in ministry, and I'm a little afraid, and I've never been on a trip before. And the guy trips over me, and I like, don't have the mind of Christ. I kind of go, I think I growl. <laughs> I'm going on my first missions trip, like, love everybody. This guy's like, who you think you are, Mr. Sarah, I'm telling all myself, just what I was, right? And so guy trips over me and, and, and comes back and sits down, and about five minutes later, he's rubbing his ankle. And the Holy Spirit says, I want you to heal his ankle. I immediately run to the men's room in the plane. <laughs> and I hear the eternal words of my spiritual father, delayed obedience is not obedience at all. I go, oh, man. So there I am with the turbulence and the little you know, thing. And, and, 
All right, Lord, give me another chance. I'm really sorry. But make it easy, please. <laughs> so I go out, and the guy's still rubbing his ankle. And <clears throat> I said to him, in a very bold, evangelistic tone, excuse me. <laughs> crack in my voice. I'm shaking. I was a bartender. I'm doing this ministry thing, which I'm really not sure if I want to be doing this. And, and if any of you can, you know, and so there I am. And um, uh, well, what's wrong? I think I said wheel. What's wrong with the wheel? He says, oh, I, 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 I heard it. Um, well, uh, I, I'm in ministry, and I'm going on a mission trip. Can I pray for you? He looked at me like I had three heads. <laughs> uh, right through my mind. Maybe I go back to bartending. <laughs> I don't want to do this. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> and then the Holy Spirit spoke out of my, what have you got to lose? And he went, you're right. So he's on the window. I'm in the aisle. There's nobody between us. And very boldly, I go, <laughs> <laughs> just like that. Put my hand back. He opens up his magazine again. We're both embarrassed. And about a minute later, he starts going like this. He's going, I don't feel the pain anymore. He says, it's weird. And at the time, McDonald's had a burger that was special advertising. Less than about three months. It was called Hot Side Hot, hot Cold Side Cold. It was a cheeseburger, and the cold side was lettuce, tomato, and mayonnaise. It didn't last very long. But anyways, it was hot side hot. He said, it, it, one side's hot, and the other side of my ankle's cold. I said, got like the burger. He goes, yeah. <laughs> and so then he gets up, and he starts going like, now I'm getting bold. <laughs> you know, I just, I just spare it all. And then he goes, this God just used this guy to heal my ankle. And I'm, oh, no. <laughs> That was then. Winco is now. Yep. So wherever you are, it's OK. Yep. It's OK, because God will bring you to a new place if you let him. Yeah. All you have to do is he keeps giving me the thing. When you're in the, he does supermarkets for some reason for me. But when you step on the little black mat, the door opens. If you get your hands full of groceries or you push in the cart, step on the mat. You've got to step on the mat for the door to open. Willingness is the key, but willingness is an action. Yeah. And when you step. So wherever you are right now is OK. And if you've missed a few things, that's OK, too. He's saying, start now. And then if you miss it again, guess what? 70 times 70, he, he knows the math, right? <laughs> he, know, he, he created it, <laughs> you know? It's like it, the, we, the, the we identity, right? The, the, we're all in this together. He says, come on, I got your back. And so when he says to me things like Helsinki, I knew that there was someone in the room. It was two things. One was the the country's not going down. That's fake news. Seems like it's going down, but it's not going down. We're winning. We're winning. We are winning. Right? We're, we're the good news. And then he also said, there is someone in the crowd who's the problem with water. And, the, and, and I knew that. And I knew, and I knew, and I knew. And sometimes people don't come up. So, but again, it's not about me anymore, it, because maybe sometimes people come up afterwards. I was a little embarrassed. I didn't want to say anything. Thank you for being, you know. So anyways, I said all that. To say, <laughs> it is finished. Yeah. He gave me this. You are what God says you are. Amen. And you can do what the Lord says you can do. And I have to know that. I have to know. I'm not, the enemy gets in up here. Many times I'm up here, he makes, the brain's a beautiful thing. I don't disparage it. He made it. It's a wonderful thing. But the enemy gets in there sometimes and goes in my past experience. And that's when I open up and I share it all the time. I've shared it here before, the Yabats. Yabat. It's a bad tribe. Don't join the Yabats. It's bad. No, it's bad. Yeah, Yabat, if you only knew my. Yabat. I got a friend that's just been diagnosed with cancer. Three months to live, if that. Good buddy, armor bearer, preacher, right? And it, it, like a gut punch, right? And then I'm, 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 I'm fighting for him, and, I, and I'm in worship at higher ground down in Nampa, and I get a text. He says, I've been in the hospital. You knew that. You prayed for me. And we're at peace now. I'm going home. And I went, ah. And I start crying. I'm bawling like a baby. My wife goes, whoa, 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 whoa. I hand it. She says, will you read the rest of the thing? He says, <laughs> 
I'm going home. I'm done with the medical profession. We're going home. We're at peace. God's going to heal me. Thank you, Jesus. Now, he doesn't answer his phone. I've been giving him a scripture every morning, calling him and lifting his arms up. No, look at me, but that's, I love this guy. He's a street kid from Philadelphia. He's one of the toughest kids I ever knew. He's about 70 years old. I still call him a tough kid. I mean, he was tough. Jesus saved him right out of a life in the streets where it was just, I mean, he still talks out of the side of his mouth. He's beautiful. Yeah, I got a problem sometimes with this Jesus thing, you know what I mean? I won't mention his name. He said, what do you mean? This is my daughter, 17 years old. They come into my house. This is my daughter sitting in her bedroom with a guy next to her in my house holding my daughter's hand. I said, and? He says, in the old days, I would have thrown him through the window. Now I got to ask, he's in my house holding my daughter's hand. Do I open the window before I throw him through? What would Jesus do? <laughs> true story, true story. Everybody's different. <laughs> I love this guy. So right now, jo join with me right now, all right? And let's just release love because I got gut punched and I'm, I'm yielding back into faith. I got a picture yesterday morning of him standing up with his wife. He was up out of bed standing. Now, is my faith in the picture or is my faith in the word? My faith was in the picture. I need my faith to be in the word. Thank you, Lord, for my buddy. Right here, right now. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Your word is true. And I say, cancer, you were defeated at the cross. You were openly exposed, shamed, and defeated. You're nothing but a collection of rebellious cells. Amen. And you're in my friend's body. Even if you're still there, you're there illegally. You've got to go now. The Lord told Nahum in the Old Testament prophet, I, the Lord, shall make an utter end of this affliction, and it will not return a second time. Oof. Now we're in the New Testament. That was a good, that was good, good. Our Jewish brothers and sisters, were, were, we're really celebrating with them this, this, all the time, but especially this week, right, from Rosh Hashanah to Yom Kippur. That's a beautiful thing. But we're not being Jewish, but we're... we're I'm not being Jewish. I am celebrating the roots of my older brothers and sister. Right. Yeah. right there. Whoa. And that was a good covenant. Hebrew says we got a better covenant. That's good. That's real good. We don't disparage that at all. But now we get to see the new old covenant fulfilled, filled fully. Yeah. Fully filled. So thank you for fully filling the covenant in my body's body right now. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Thank you for... Join it with me. I could feel that. It was a good atmosphere here. That I want to. I wasn't going to do that, but there it is. He told me. <clears throat> he told me. He told me right now. To use a football analogy because football starts tomorrow night. I think. There's a there's a saying called third and twenty three. The third down and twenty three yards to go for a first down. Third and twenty three usually means the defense is blitzing because you probably have to throw a pass. They know you're going to throw a pass, so they rush the passer. Third and 23 is not a good way to live your life. No. Second and one is good. <laughs> He's saying, the news says we're third and 23. I tell you, we are second and one. And we have the ball. And Jesus says, I don't fumble. <laughs> and all the ships at sea <laughs> live from heaven tonight. <laughs> My wife was having a one-on-one -on -one with Jesus. She, he was right there. She's having a one. I'm up front with a microphone. Funny thing happened on the way to revival. She's in back with the Savior of the universe having an eye, eyeball to eyeball. And afterwards I said, y you were talking, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I said, wow, it wasn't the first time. I said, was he asking for me? <laughs> She said, yeah. He said, give him a call. It's local. <laughs> Way too busy doing his business than to spend time. She goes, I'll be right back, Jesus. I'm busy doing your work. <laughs> Easy to fall into. Very, very important. Very important. I must. I must. My wife will go, in the car. In the That's Boston. Car. That's Boston for car. Car is Boston for automobile. In the car. 
we're going to turn on the blinker. <laughs> going to back out of it. You're going for a ride to the lake. You're going to take a walk with me, and you're going to take a breath. <laughs> Way too busy. Smell the roses. There's a mm. So, why? Because I am a child of God. I can do what the Lord says I can do, because Romans 8, 16, I am a child. We sing the song. But when I think about that, I'm his kid. Now, my grandson, I'm helping bring up my grandson. All right, he's going to be eight. Now, yeah, his dad is in his life. He's an awesome kid. He's got a little bit of autism, a little ADHD. I'm dad grand, slash granddad. So he goes to me the other day. My wife's all about the birds and the bees, and I love that because I'm two or one, and that's who I am in, in holy matrimony, that atmosphere. I'm, I'm catching all of the birds and the... I don't want to say the birds and the bees. That wouldn't come out right. Okay. Um, I love nature and the animals. How's that? Is that good? So... Kids next door have a jumpy castle and a trampoline, right? And he comes out and he goes, Grandpa, kids next door, they got a jumpy castle and they got a trampoline. Our backyard, I got a birdhouse. <laughs> That's lame. <laughs> Eight years old, lame. <laughs> I, I didn't talk like that. that well, anyways, <laughs> you know. So I was checking out today, I, I saw the, the jump, and I said, yeah, I'm, so needless to say, I'm a good dad. We're going to get a trampoline, <laughs> and the birds can jump on it for a while. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the robins? <laughs> Ask the cat. <laughs> Isn't it good to laugh in the midst of all the bad news? Isn't it? I wasn't planning any of this, but you know, be the gift you are. Be the gift you are. Don't be me, be you. Be the gift you are. You know, in the midst of all the junk, it's coming from everywhere. It's, it's like bad news on the bad news on the bad news. I'm a child of God. I'm redeemed from the hand of the enemy, Psalm 107. Right? Give thanks to the Lord for his goodness. Mercy endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Why? Why do we say so? The Lord is good. Right? Why do we say that? Don't, they told, gave me this yesterday morning. Don't reduce the word to just words. Run them through them. I'm in a hurry. Well, I, I, want to, I, I want to get on my quiet time. No, I, I, I can, have you ever fall into the rote thing? I have. You know, no, he says, don't reduce the word into just words. I was talking today, my brother Bill Wayman here, they're lovingly hosting me. They said, let jurisdiction, the word jurisdiction. They made me take Latin and Greek in high school, Catholic high school in Boston, because I was no good in math. You're going to Latin class. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Juris, legal, diction, speech. Legal speech, yeah. jurisdiction. I've shared this before. <clears throat> Thank you, Jim and Faith Chosa in Montana. In Earthly language, first grade, see spot run. The noun executes the verb. The noun does the verb. See spot the noun. Run, verb. Eternal language, heavenly language, God talk. The verb creates the noun. Light be creates light. Bring it back to jurisdiction. The word of God, not legalistic speech, legal speech. The living word of God, the written word, grama, becomes the living word, right? The verb creates the noun. Legal speech creates a place of jurisdiction where the justice of heaven can be served on earth. Amen. You can do what the Lord says you can do. You are who he says you are. We're made in his image. So I need to watch my speech. I'm not talking about cussing. I'm beyond that for the most part. <laughs> right? No, I'm serious. Right? Cursing. I'm not, I'm not celebrating the sin. I'm just being real. All right. I'm not trying to be funny in that respect. I'm just saying cursing. Okay. A, a son or a daughter or a neighbor or somebody who's not doing the right thing or somebody in your life that, you know, well, you'll never, you keep that up. You'll never amount to anything. What I do? Yeah. I had a problem with one of my one of my children, uh, and I was totally frustrated. I called Wayne Anderson. 
I need a meeting. <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's driving me crazy. Listen to me rant for about a good seven or eight minutes. You know what that child's problem is? No, tell me. You. <laughs> you talk about getting hit with a two by four. Oof. Stop cursing. Do you not prophesy? Well, yeah. It's not always comes out, thus saith the Lord. But if you're made in his image and you're speaking, what are you doing? He said, see the problem, speak the solution. See the problem, speak the solution. See the problem, speak the solution. Positive prophetic proclamation brings destiny activation. Release it and walk into your inheritance. Oh, I got to make that phone call Monday morning. That is the, I don't like that. Oh, man. Monday morning is the, what a way to spend one-seventh of my life. <laughs> when I was drinking in the old days and in the gutter, right, it was, I'm not saying poor me, but I'd go, oh, God, another day. Now it's, for the most part, oh, God, another day. Yeah. I start the night before, like our Hebrew brothers and sisters do. That day starts the day before. Why? Because the enemy of my soul was up in the morning doing push-ups, waiting for me to get up so he could trip me. <laughs> mm, coffee pot's not on. <laughs> Jesus and coffee. I still have that mug. I need to tell you, she gave me a beautiful mug that she won. I said Jesus and coffee. I spent my day Jesus and coffee. She, you won at a ladies' thing, a retreat, a Jesus and coffee mug, and gave it to me last year. Every morning, except one, that coffee mug was there. It wasn't any place to be found. And I knew one of my children had it the <laughs> night before and didn't bring it down to get washed. <laughs> Comes down with Jesus and coffee in her hand with an ice cream spoon in it, of all things. She goes, this makes a really nice ice cream dish. I smiled benevolently. <laughs> I was, it's funny the things that can trip you up sometimes, you know? And I'm telling on myself here, all right? So I said, yes, I'm sure it's a lovely ice cream dish, but it's a better coffee mug. <laughs> she got the hint. <laughs> I bought her a nice dish for her ice cream. It's a time to be real. I'm not planning any of this. This is coming out because God is working as he's working. But we're in a time. I'm waking up the other night, and I went to bed the night before, and my wife catches me and says, Chuck Pierce had a word about Judah. Well, our group of churches, is, we're, we're Judah. We're, we're Judah praisers. Or we're the tribe of Judah. We go to war first, singing and dancing, sometimes reluctantly, but we go to war first. We're not the biggest tribe, but we're the baddest tribe. We're the tip of the spear. And we're going in. Because they sang and danced in front of the advancing army because they knew who they were in Yahweh's eyes. Now, I always don't feel that way. Sometimes i got to yield back into who I am and let it awaken within me. Don't you know what I'm talking about? But there it is. But we're Judah, right? And so she said, Chuck Brace. And he gave that, Chuck Pierce gave that word in 2003, and it was out again. Now is the time for Judah to go to war. It's time to praise. So I take that and I go to bed the night before. I said, Lord, do with that whatever you want, Holy Spirit. You know, just, just speak to me. Now, I, I don't get a lot of dreams. I mean, I get dreams, but I, I normally don't get prophetic dreams. So I'm with the worship leader at Higher Ground in the dream, and we're worshiping, and we're doing something on the road. I have no idea what it is, but it feels good. And then he says to me, as I'm waking up, Psalm 132. And I go, what? So I look, and it's 20 to 6, and I'm really tired. Oh, look at the 132, Song of Ascents, if I think, I think it is. I'm thinking, There's a, there is a 132, right? Where they go that high. <laughs> I'm still asleep. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I get there, and he says, my eyelids will not see sleep until I make a place for the Lord in my life. Oh. Onto the coffee pot. <laughs> I, I get there, and the season, what Chuck Pierce was talking about, the glory of Zion is the name of his ministry. I, I like Chuck. I know him, not intimately, but the fact is, is I follow stuff sometimes, but I'm not hanging on his every word. 
and all of a sudden this is resonating in me. And so I go, and the 10 days, right now, the 10 days, it's always true, Old Testament, with the verses from the first covenant to read, and I'm on day four, tomorrow day five, but the fact is, is turning to him, for it's a time now, not that I have to do something, that's old covenant stuff, but I have to yield and let the living word of God work in me now to get rid of the stuff that I've been dragging around with me for years that I'm used to carrying. Like the, I used to be 289 pounds, and I lost a lot of weight. And when I lost about 50, I lost 68 pounds. But I remember carrying a 50-pound bag of uh, rock salt into the house, and I'm thinking, I used to carry this in my body. I'm having trouble getting this up the stairs. How did I ever do that? You get used to carrying things. You get, it becomes the new normal. The Lord's telling me now is the time. That's, the new normal is not what they're saying. Don't follow the crowd. Follow the cloud. Don't listen to the crowd. Listen to the cloud. Out of the abundance of his heart, his mouth does speak, and everything they had need of in the desert was in the cloud of his presence. Stay in his presence now, time of presence, and I will work in you and break through the things that have been dogging you and keeping you from Kevin, from your inheritance. Yes, you're getting by, but you're flowing on probably four out of six cylinders. It's time to wake up to who you really are and get going, because I need you. Yeah. Yeah. That's from the happy clappy guy. <laughs> you hear my heart. So take that. That's not a reproach. That's an encouragement. But that's what he's telling me. I'm sharing with you what's real time in my life. That's why he didn't give me a whole bunch of stuff to talk about tonight. He wanted to go heart to heart. That's Malachi 3.16. We shared that earlier today. A book of remembrance is written when you go heart to heart. And from that foundation that is laid when you go heart to heart, the Holy Spirit will then drop more revelation upon that foundation of truth. I can go to your head and everybody laughs and you can go to my head, but when I hit your heart, you hit your heart tonight when you were at the end there, right? That's big. Because when you open your heart up, then people can, you, when you share your story, whether it's either with words or emotion, you allow other people in, and that can be scary and dangerous because people always don't treat your heart right. Amen? Amen. Woo, 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 woo. I wasn't planning on going anywhere there. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. He tells me two mornings ago, the shouts, the noise of the enemy. The shouts of the enemy are overcome by the whispers of God. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be a t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> the shouts of the enemy. He's been pulling at me, shouting every which way. Yes, yeah, yeah, that, that, that. The little stuff, the big stuff, the macro, what's going on, the country, the world, this and that. I don't care where you are. I'm, I'm, I'm not here to be political. There are people that call to be political. That's not my call. My call is to, re I said it earlier, is to release the gospel. Because that's the one thing I can count on. That's the one thing I can count on. And if you get a call to government, you get a call to, that's good, you do that. If that's your call, you, you, you answer his call. Um, let me see if I got this right here. He gave me this prophetic word. I'm gonna read, I was going to release it tomorrow, and I'm going to release it tonight because we're rolling, and, and he wants me to do this. <clears throat> I got this during worship Sunday morning at Higher Ground. Incline your ear, for I am closer than near. The resonance of my voice breaks through the static of an already defeated, disconnected foe. And when you resound my whisper, it becomes a roar of victory, sending shockwaves of fear through a trembling and defeated enemy. <laughs> I'm gonna, whoa, hey, 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 read, that, read, read that again. Whoa, yeah, because yeah. it's all in the book. In different places, it's all in the book. Take a look, it's in the book. <laughs> Incline your ear, for I am closer than near. The resonance, what we were talking about. Hear his voice and then speak it out. I think the word was pay, P-E-Y, the time of hearing and then proclaiming. Always true, but especially in this season. <clears throat> The resonance of my voice breaks through the static of an already defeated, 
disconnected foe. And when you resound my whisper, it becomes a roar of victory, sending shock waves of fear through a trembling enemy. Have you ever got gut punched and, huh? and, and had some, huh? whatever it might have been? That's what we do to the enemy. When we praise, when we laugh. Do you realize that laughter is the language of heaven? Joy is the language of heaven. Isaac, Abraham, Isaac, Sarah, Isaac means laughter. When you laugh, you help Sarah fulfill her destiny. Mm. Laughter. Enemy hates it. <coughs> you ever been in a street altercation and you're laughing? There's either two ways to go. I learned in the subways of Boston. There's two things you do. There's, there's always somebody quicker and tougher. It's like the old west. You got a gun. There's always somebody. But if you laugh, it confuses them. And then you go to plan B, which is you act crazy. Because, <laughs> well, it's true. Because th if you're tough, they'll like, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. But if you're, nobody bothers the guy that's spitting and spinning. <laughs> it's true. I'm on a mission trip to South Africa. I'm on a plane. We're over the Atlantic. We got a couple of young gals of our team, beautiful young gals, and my wife, and a couple of pastors, and, and there's a drunk guy, and it's like three in the morning, and all the stewards are pretty much asleep, and he's, he's bothering one of our, our gals sitting in the back. And, you know, he's, I smell the booze on him, and he's, he's like, I just walk up to him, and I just started speaking crazy in tongues. <laughs> And he looking at me like this. In broken Africans, he says, where are you from? <laughs> Practical Christianity. <laughs> now, he had the gift of interpretation. It would be good for him. Sit down, shut up, and go to sleep. Leave us alone. Okay, Jesus. Yeah. You hear my heart. It's a time. It's a time to be lovingly radical. The new normal. The new normal is us arising. Now I got a word from Faith Chosa. Uh, I called Jim. He called me back during worship. I said I'll call him later. I'm going to get their permission to release this word tomorrow night. I wouldn't release it without one of my spiritual fathers giving me the. Because she gave the word, I want to make sure that I can apostolically put it in the ground from here. And so I'm going to wait. So tomorrow night, this is a, it was a powerhouse of, of faith, 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 faith. It's a powerhouse of faith. And where we are right now, individually and in this season and in, in, in this country, it's like, yes, yes, yes. Whoa, yeah. I've taken at least three or four things on Twitter that I was going to send and deleted them <laughs> because it's of no good. You know what I'm saying? If no, it's release the word. It's release the word. Mm. Colossians 1, 12 and 13. This is in the New King James. Giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us. He has qual. You are who he says you are. You can do what he says you can do. He's qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance. You were talking about inheritance, Bill. We were talking earlier. Of the saints in the light. I walk with him in the light. Sometimes I turn the switch off, but I walk with him. I walk with, I'm not proud of that. I'm not, again, hear me. It's just life, okay? I'm not celebrating the sin. I'm just saying there's times that, you know, I'm not feeling it, all right? That doesn't mean it's not there. That's why they call it the great awakening. Exactly. There you go, Isaac. <laughs> beautiful. That's beautiful, man. That was awesome. <laughs> You'll work with me anytime. <laughs> the awakening. Yeah. It, it, you, you're not already manifesting who you already are. I am not already manifesting naturally what I already am eternally. I'm not. 
I, 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 I'm made new in Christ. But I continually have to wash my mind in the water of the Word. Now, I'm, sometimes, I, I, like I got, he gave me John 7.37. I was telling you the other day. He gave me John 7.37. If you're thirsty, come to me and drink. All right? Okay. Come to me and drink. And those that believe in me, out of your belly will flow rivers of living water. So he starts the revelation in pieces. The first part of the revelation was, the first part is the first great commandment. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Come to me and drink. And then he says, believing is what hinges the first and the second. Believing is what releases one and two. And out of your belly will flow those that need it, rivers of living water. So he says to me, it's impossible for my living water to go through you and not have it make a positive impact on the way through. Wow. So it doesn't mean I don't get prayer, but I get ripped in the Holy Ghost and healed when I'm praying for you. Because it's going through me. And I believe that. You know? I'd be a lot worse off than I am if I wasn't praying for people. <laughs> oh, put that under the blood. I'm doing well. I'm not worse off at all. Thank you very much. That's, that's the old me being stupid. Okay? Which he rushes his head every once in a while. So, so, that, so the revelation gets deeper. Okay, this is, this is uh, thanks to Jim and Faith Chosa. We start, you get on the phone, we start dialoguing. You know, Faith will, will say, she'll say, she'll say, if the phone will ring, she goes, hello, Kevin, Jim wants to talk to you. So I wait, and Jim goes, well, yeah, who is it? <laughs> <laughs> and she says, it's Kevin. And he goes, yes, Kevin. I says, oh, you call me. I think Faith wants us to talk. <laughs> she knows. Did not my heart go with you, Gehazi? I'll get stuff he's about to teach, and I'll be preaching it the week before. Our hearts are so close. It's really crazy. It's good stuff, right? So, so we're back and forth, and I'm getting... If you're thirsty. I'm thirsty. Are we thirsty? We're thirsty. I'm proclaiming, Lord, I'm in the morning. I'm thirsty. Come to me. I don't have to come to you. You're in me. How about I'm going to focus on who you are in me and me in you? I'm not picking words. I'm just changing my attitude a little bit because what we speak portrays where our heart is. So the, the language, refine my language so that it mirrors an eternal language. I'm not saying we've got to be religious in our words. Hear me. I'm just saying get an, get an attitude change, Kevin. So wait a minute. You're in me. Come to me and drink. Of course I'm drinking. I'm in your presence. I'm absorbing the very presence of creation. That's a little different than drinking. Yeah. I mean, I know drinking. <laughs> all right? But the fact is, is that I'm in your presence. I don't have to come to you. I am already continually in the flow of your ever-going creative love. Whoa, that'll get you a little goofy. <laughs> And the scripture says, wait a minute, the scripture is speaking. The living word is releasing right now rivers of living water into whatever I wanted to focus that prayer on. Yeah. Now, you get that from here down to here. I probably had to say that at least 20 times till I got it. And then somebody needed prayer. And all I did was, Lord, we're thirsty for Johnny. Whew. Well, you're in me. I'm drinking. I'm absorbing your presence. And the scripture is speaking. My faith is arising because I'm with you. Of course, I'm believing. My, I'm in your presence drinking. Of course, my faith is arising. I, I'm feeling, hearing, knowing the word, not here, but here. And so now the scripture is speaking to Johnny. Even as we speak, it's coming out of your heart, Father, through mine and to Johnny. And thank you very much for what you're doing. Whew. Can you feel that? Ooh, whoa. Wow. Shumba. Wow. Mm. Wow. Oof, wow. Oof, oof. Who's got facial pain twitching? Somebody got something going on with their face? Is that you? Yeah, my yeah. eyes been twitching it, okay. for about two weeks. Okay, so <laughs> right here. <laughs> he's, he's did that tonight. That's him. I'm just I'm in the messenger boy. Take your glasses off if I may. Can I put my hand on your Absolutely. on your twitch? <laughs> oh father, we're drinking, we're thirsty. And we're drinking, boom, boom, we're in your presence. We're in communion with you. 
at the table of the Lord, chewing your word and drinking the new wine of your love. Of course, faith is arising. And now the scripture is speaking. And right now, ooh, that creative love is flowing into your eye where the twitch is, where the pain is right now. Feel that. Just begin to feel that change you get right now. Ooh, mm. what does it feel like? Thank you, Lord. Just the peace and the yeah. just your presence. Your presence right there Thank now. You, Lord. There it is. So is, it's been twitching all along, or just recently? Just recently. Okay. A couple of weeks. A couple of weeks, and it was twitching tonight. Yes. Yeah. When <laughs> well, you came I was here, was it here. twitching? Yeah. yeah, and it's just like random driving here. I was having issues. Random with my twitch. Eyes. <laughs> yeah. Just this, yeah. Sounds like a rock group. <laughs> 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 you get tickets, yeah? I'm going to see random twitch. <laughs> I must be getting old. My father, I'm going to be turning into my father in heaven. <laughs> you kids in your rock and roll. <laughs> I don't have to pray. He just did. It's his love. He did it. We just hooked into the eternal pipeline. I don't have to do anything. I got to show up and focus. I'm not saying don't pray. I'm saying there's different ways of prayer. The, the Greek word is prosukamai. Pros means it comes out of you. It's coming through you from his heart, through you. Pros. It's, a, it's okay to say, please, God. God's a gentleman, and he answers, okay? But more, the, most of the time, Jesus healed in the book, all right? When he was, it's written about in the book, when he healed back, you know, and still does, was when we're proclaiming. He'll do whatever he wants to do, however he wants to do, whenever he wants to. He's God. He can do what he wants. He's sovereign, okay? But he woos us to jump in in the seasons. And, in, and so, do you feel any difference? All right, give God, give God glory right there. Okay? That's, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, 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 hey. I used to be twitching. Now I'm switching. <laughs> we could turn it into a hole. That's kind of a... You two can be a lounge lizard in just three short weeks. <laughs> and I don't want to be a one-hit wonder. hey, <laughs> hey. All right. Anybody got a problem with it? I hear marrow, marrow, red blood. Somebody, somebody's got a blood thing that maybe their, their blood isn't making red, red blood the way it's supposed to. Red, red blood cells. Uh, my Barb. Okay. Barb Bundy. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Barbara Earl. Yeah, yeah, sure. Ooh, okay. She's great. Whoa, whoa. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just really, with two or more gathered, there I am in the midst. So Daddy, we're drinking for Barbara Earl Bundy. We're chewing your word, digesting it. Yeah. We're focusing on your presence. Faith is arising. We're in communion with you. Yes, we are absorbing your loving presence. And now your word is coming off the page. It's alive. The word is speaking. And we're just letting it flow, let it flow into Barbara Earl Bundy. Whatever the situation is with the bloodstream, we proclaim the blood of Jesus flows through your veins, your arteries, even to your capillaries. He serves to the uttermost. It flows by faith, pumped to the beat of a loving father's heart. Ooh, bump, 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 bump. Boom, boom. Yes. At the right pressure. Yes. At the right sugars. Yes. The right viscosity. The right thinness. Yes. No clotting. No leaking. No problems. Circulatory system is in line with the word of God. The heartbeat is in rhythm with daddy's heartbeat. Heaven has come to earth yes. Yes. in the circulatory system of Barbara Earl Bundy. Yes. The word is alive. Yes, it is. And everybody said? Amen. I want to hear that one. That's that. Yeah, thank you for jumping. That's good. I want to hear that one. Let me know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anybody got a stomach thing, stomach pain? Stomach thing, yes, yeah, stomach. We all got stomachs. Anybody, stomach pain? Okay. 
Okay. So one of the things God likes to do the most is take care of your host. Because <laughs> you're special. <laughs> Pastor, I, told, I, 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 had to, I love this story. I'm in Kansas. Olafe, Jubilee Center, outside of Kansas City. First time there with friends of mine, Larry and Peggy, who, who you met the most. And they're with the pastor. I don't know who he is. He doesn't know who I am. He's, I'm coming on Larry's. You're going to have this guy in. It'll be healing. It'll be fun. So nobody knows me. I don't know anybody. So I got a word of knowledge, frozen shoulder. First person who puts his hand up is the pastor. <laughs> like this. So I'm not in a place of faith. At the moment, I wasn't. I was like, my exact words were, oh, no. <laughs> it's the pastor. <laughs> That's not a faith statement at all. It was like, oh, no, it's the pastor. I mean, like, everything I preach just went out the window. Wow. I'm, I'm here three minutes, and all of a sudden, I'm on, the, I'm, I'm on the, all of a sudden, it's me, right? Narcissism reigns. I'm on the spot. Mm -hmm. So the Holy Spirit says, will you stop it and be the gift you are? You, you can go. be who you are, to what God says. Mm -hmm. So I start, I'm probably from that chair to that chair, and as I'm walking towards him, I start singing. Because that's what I do when I don't know what to do. <laughs> You take it another level, you sing in tongues. <laughs> but what I did was all of a sudden I just started saying, <laughs> I said, Jesus, Jesus, in you there's no lack. Please heal the pastor. I want to come back. <laughs> <laughs> and his arm flies up. He goes, I'm healed. <laughs> I turned around and went, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> We're human. Yeah. It's not always like this. It's the enemies in my ear all the time. Who do you think you're going to? What do you think? I'm not doing anything. It's you. But it's a, it can be a constant battle when you're on the, doing the deal in the front lines. And right now, you're getting healed. Right now, your stomach's getting healed because we're not thinking about the problem. We're releasing the solution. That's why I tell stories, to, to trick me. And I like to have a good time. I traveled all this way. I want to have some fun, you know what I mean? Well, he's, I keep myself amused while he works. <laughs> you guys can jump in as you like. <laughs> but what it does is it takes the onus off having to worry, is this going to work? Because that kills the anointing quicker than anything. Yep. Oh, my, I hope this. Ooh. Now, but you put your hand right in your belly, right there, right now. Sir, who's got more faith than you and love right there? Put your hand right there. Right there. Okay, I'm going to put my hand on you, right there. Now, feel the heat. Feel it right now, the heat of his presence, right there now. Because we're drinking. That's what we've been doing. We're drinking. We're chewing on the word. You're, Bill, you're a word guy. Big word. Cheryl, you too. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're consuming that word. It's consumed, digested. We're in communion with you. We're focusing on who you are, who we are. We're allowing that word to come alive. We're allowing the faith to reign and, and, and arise within us. And the word is speaking now. And right now, the love of the Father, his living word is coming through all of us into your stomach right here, right now, by faith. And we say, thank you. I feel the peace. Shalom. Not just quiet, not just a nice Jewish word for peace. Shalom is the fullness of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, the fullness of his presence. And so I used the words earlier because it was a nice thing to do, Shana Tova, but the Lord just told me to tell you, both of you, Shana Tova, at the head of the year, a very happy new you're not happy new year, a happy new year. There's depth in the Shana Tova and everything that has carried for centuries in the now, the never before Neos new now. You guys do a lot. You do a lot. You do a lot administratively, prophetic gifting, all of that. And sometimes you carry it here and here. 
right? So right here, right now, right there. The government is on his shoulders. Whoa, 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 right there. Feel that, I feel the peace. Can't, under, can't understand it, don't have to. Pastor's all understanding. There it is. And the joy to no one, no situation, no earthly situation can take away. Oh, we let it, but it can't, if we... He's blessed us with all blessings in heavenly places in Ephesians. Well, why aren't I seeing what I need to be? It's in the Word, and I'm praying, and how? Because how? you're doing an earthly thing, and the, in other words, you're down here hoping, and you need to get in the heavenly place to receive the blessing. Oh, so you mean it's just not automatic? No, it's covenant, covenant, come together. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I can't change. I learned that early on in my recovery from alcohol. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I can't change. His job. The courage to change the things I can. Right? My job. And the wisdom to know when it's his job, when it's my job, the difference. So in your new found, you're growing. You've grown immeasurably. Even the last week when you came to the convening, they came down to... Nampa, and the I am convening with pastors. And you received a lot, some things you say you don't even know what they were. Mm -hmm. But the gifting now, as it accelerates, and I'm not putting anything on you, but if anybody notices when you come to a new place in a season of transition, you can feel a, like a half a step off sometimes. Like when I was a kid on the dance floor, I never could quite get, there was always a half a step <laughs> off. It was like Mr. Ed. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but, yeah. Right? Uh -huh. He says, when you go to a higher elevation in the natural, like mountain climbing, mm -hmm. you need to acclimatize. Yeah. When we go to Peru and the Andes and mission trip, yeah. a couple days if you went to Cusco, uh, um, you, you need to acclimatize two or three days. Same thing in the spirit. As you go to new places, do, and you, if in fact you feel a little bit off, it's not the devil always. You're in a new, don't be blaming the devil all the time. Sometimes you're just in a new place. And it takes a while to get used to the new normal, and you get in step again. What brings us in step? The Word and the Spirit. So thank you, Father, for what you're doing right now. Oh. Wow. Mm, yeah. Woo, 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 woo. Anybody got a cloudy eye thing going on? Cloudy eyes? Cloudy eyes, cloudy eyes. Anyone else? Cloudy eyes? Anybody with cloudy eyes? Stand up. Cloudy eyes. All right, you've heard me release what we're releasing in John 7, 37. Again, it's not a rote prayer. It's not the only thing we do. But it was something the Lord will give me certain things at certain times to work through those things so that I can hang my hat in faith. It helps me, it helps me hear the whisper of God to overcome the shout of the enemy. Does that make sense? Like I said, that's what he does. So take your glasses off if you get glasses. Cloudy eyes, you've got such cloudy eyes, and to God it's no surprise, he's gonna clear those cloudy eyes. Ba -ba -ba -bum, ba -ba 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 -bum. But if Fonzarelli had gotten saved. I say, hey, now, Lord, the eyes are going to clear. Because you live me, you're arising, you're closer than near. And Jesus, you're in me. And now it's no surprise. 
It's time for the devil to back up and you clear my eyes. Bo 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 boom with bo 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 bo. Where's that in the word? Make a joyful noise. Ba da ba da ba da ba da da ba ba da ba 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 da ba da ba ba da ba ba da ba 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 da ba ba And now it's all about my friend. Jesus, coffee's in second place, <laughs> even though he wants to please us. <laughs> the eyes do clear. Get over here because now he, he's very near. I said what was cloudy, it isn't anymore. But oh, we just showed old Satan the back door. Boom, I'm coming your way right now. A little booster shot. That's a real jab. Which jab are you getting? Christos. I'm getting Christos. It's okay for everybody to be right where they are. Everybody gets to make their own choice. Still America. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you, Lord, right here, right now. And when he clears your eyes, the people will say, wow. Boom, boom, boom. Shoo, boom, boom. Shoo, boom. Sometimes quickly, sometimes slowly, but always when we believe. Ooh. As things start to clear up, let me know. As things start to clear up, let me know. Thank you, Lord. The enemy would say, nothing's going to happen. <laughs> we know better. He would know better. Whoa, 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 whoa. Elbow pain. Let me know about the eyes when they, before the meeting's over. Tell me if it's a little bit, a lot, all the way. Just let me know before the meeting's over. Definitely <coughs> testimony. Bump, bump. And if you think you want a second shot, because Jesus did that. Remember when he laid hands and he said, I saw men like trees walking? Right. Remember, I said, Jesus needs to do two. I can do two. It's okay. All right. Shoop, ba, 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 ba. Elbow pain. Something, elbow's not working. Is that you? Okay. All right. Now, he gave me specific words, because I've tested them out. Like, I was in a room with about 15 people, you know, and he gave me 12 words of knowledge. The 12 people. So I say, I want specifics, even if it's a small group. You go to Peru, there's a thousand people in the room. Oh, who's got a headache? Oh, that guy's prophetic, <laughs> man. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, you're spot on, buddy. Where you been? <laughs> well, you're in a room of 15 and you get 12. I said, Lord, I want 12. Because uh, I want to I, I wanna hear you. It's, it's like finish. It is finish. You know, he'll, he'll do the crazy, he does the craziest things. It is finish. He could have said, no way, no way, but he didn't. <laughs> he said, it is finish. <laughs> Don't tell me the pain left your elbow, it's gone to your head. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's trying to get away. It's trying to get away. It's moving north. I had a lady happen on her knee. I had a word on all your knees, and she says, it's, it's, it's moving down my leg. I said, cool. She says, it, it, it's on my toe. I said, kick it out. She did. It left. <laughs> I mean, God, you, you, God does funny things. I mean, he should have an HBO special. He really should. They got all these, I mean, you know. They got all these crazy shows, you know, reality this and reality that. Mm. We have 35 people trapped on an island. You know, I, I'd like to, I want, I want a God TV show. Amen. You know? That would be cool. It'd be cool, you know? Maybe we will. Yeah. You know, why not? Yeah. All right, right now, the substance of heaven's going into your elbow right now. Yeah. Was there anything that we, wouldn't work? Would it not open all the way or not, not, in other words, would it not straighten out all the way or was it just in pain? Well, I, I, I do dumb things sometimes. Yeah, to join the club. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
I go rock climbing and I fell on my knee. On right on oh, my okay, so it's an I accident. Broke, I broke the tip of the bone. Oh, okay, so you need to create a and miracle. Okay, well, that's different. Yeah, there's a little bursitis in there now. Okay, so it's gone. Now, pleasant words are like a honeycomb. Uh, Proverbs 16, 24. Mm -hmm. Pleasant words are like a honeycomb. Sweetness to the soul and health to the bones. Oh. Amen. Let's, let's go a step further. Let's take Ezekiel 37. Can these bones live? Amen. Absolutely. Now, I know that's a great teaching about the body arising, but what if we were to release Ezekiel 37 into his elbow right now? Right now. Hallelujah. Yay. Well, prophesy to these bones, he said. Prophesy. Life. Grow the chip. Grow the chip. Yes, grow the chip. Yay. Your new native name will be Dancing Elbow. <laughs> I'll take it. With any indigenous people, I'm not making fun. <laughs> all right, I'm not making. You got indigenous blood, my wife does too. I'm not making fun. I'll slap myself. Yeah, I feel better. There you go. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing right now. Release the scripture. Don't, don't debate scripture. Oh, it's good to have a good back and forth, but don't debate scripture with people that are looking for a fight. Release it. Amen. You know? Amen. Sometimes I tell people, they just give me that look like I know you're going to be stupid on me in a minute. And I go, you have the mind of Christ. <laughs> huh? Huh? Hit him right where it hurts. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Is, is your head hot yet? Why? Because Jesus said he's going to dump coals on your head. <laughs> Wait, no, wait. Take a look. It's in the book. Yeah, you have to be nice to him for that to happen. <laughs> I know. I know. Change my heart. And now move your elbow. Just start moving it like this. Was, it, was there any pain tonight when you came in? Was there any little twinge or any? What was it? Yeah, now it's not. No. Now it's not. Yeah. Somebody give God glory right there. Yeah. That's right. More, 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 more. Let's see what else he gave me. Between Holy Ghost and Ginkgo, I keep up pretty good. <laughs> if you're having trouble in memory, I'm serious. I, I've, I've changed my diet. And everybody's different. I, I don't dispense medicine. I release the word. But, but I, I do take some supplements. And I've started exercising. I'm not, I'm not running marathons, but just endorphins. Keep them going. And every morning I say, thank you, Holy Ghost, for backing me up. Because when I'm looking many times, I don't know if you've ever done this, but I'm all over the house saying, honey, have you seen my glasses? <laughs> <laughs> so Holy Ghost backs me up. He'll, I'll be, you know, he'll save me from a lot of problems last minute. I can hear them, my angels are laughing and they're chuckling. He's done it again. Because they have a sense of humor. You know, they get me, you know. Yes. Oh, you hurt too? Oh, well, come here. I'm sorry. Well, it's the strangest thing. It's the changes in the weather, but it also hurts when I pray for people. When I lay hands on them, mm -hmm. it hurts right in here. Okay. Well, if we just put, just kind of bend it. Don't need to have you, but there you go, right there. Now I can get yeah. to the, all right, right there. There That's it is. That's right there, yep. There it is. It's like a blockage or something. Okay, right now it's going to go, so it doesn't matter what it was, because it isn't. It isn't. He's the great I am, not yes. the great I was. <laughs> there he is, right here. Whoa, whoa, yep. whoa. Right here. Now begin to feel. You're feeling the, yep. the heat. Yeah. He told me he's turning up the heat. Okay, now just stop moving your elbow now. That's a neck. That's like take up your bed, arise, take up your bed and walk. Arise, yep. move your elbow. There yep. you go. Right there, right now. Yep, that's gone. Just like that. Just like that. Praise God. All right, thank you, Jesus. That's good. I used to go, really? <laughs> no, you don't. Really? <laughs> that's okay. It's okay, you know. It's, hey, it's okay to be human. Jesus was. <laughs> People forget that. I couldn't do that. I was the son of God. Yeah, I was the son of God, but he did everything as man. He hadn't been glorified yet. He, why do you think he was looking to dad? What are we doing next? <laughs> I mean, think about it. Jesus is looking at the phone. What are we doing? I'm down here. I got to hang out with these guys. <laughs> Throw the net on the other side. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what do you think, Thomas? I doubt it. <laughs> Poor guy. I mean, you know, it's like, no wonder we threw tables. <laughs> I get it. He was human. And he didn't sin. That's awesome. So we get to. He's the firstborn. We, we don't got to. We get to. We get to be like him. You know? Wow. Wow. 
Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay. We've done that one. He's done that one. He's done that one. He's done that one. He's done that one. The cloudy eyes we're waiting on. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, anybody a headache over the eye? That, that yours was a twitch. You got a headache over the eye? And anything in the back of the head? That's what he said right here. Headache over the eyes and in the back of the head. Come on down. I <laughs> say, say in Boston, you hit the, say this be the TV show, you hit the number. <laughs> All right, this eye? It's over the both. Oh, both? Okay, good. So much for the prophetic. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> but more the right side. More the right side. Oh, good. I was on the other side. That's all right. <laughs> I'm left-handed. It's closer. <laughs> Grand grandfather used to say, and you know why the Irish shake with their left hand? I say, no, I don't, Grandpa. <laughs> he says it's closer to their heart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right here? Mm-hmm. Also? Okay, right now. Pain right now? Mm -hmm. When you came in? Okay. And you've been laughing the whole time. God bless you. <laughs> I get headaches, they don't laugh. Right here. Whoa. No, we don't want to fall in unbelief. Mm -mm. No, we just want to. No. Yeah, no, I don't want to fall on you either, right? <laughs> no, no. It's all right. Sure. <laughs> I told you, Grandpa, you should have got a trampoline. <laughs> and a bounce house, you know, come on. Yeah. And a bouncy house. Oh, I can't wait for the bouncy house. Only 85 bucks for the day. I... That's not bad. No, it's, and it's going, to save, it's going to save the bed. At home, the, bed, the bed's going. Kid knows how to work it, you know. I'm blessed. My life was so messed up that I was there for my kids, but not because of my alcoholism. And God is so cool, he's given me a do-over with a grandson that I get to bring up. Oh, yes. That's how cool God is. Yes. Quarter of six in the morning, he does a backflip into the bed. <laughs> Lands on the cat between me and my wife. That's where the cat sleeps. <laughs> I'm telling you the intimate details of my life here. <laughs> Hi, Grandpa. Hi. <laughs> and then I go, I get to. Thank you, Jesus. I get to. Can we play? We are. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. I'm going to volunteer in second grade and read stories mm. to the kids. That's a blessing. Yes. That is a blessing. I begin to feel it go now. Because right now, it's like a dry, I just saw a drain. I just saw a drain. Drain. Yeah. Oof. Right there. How long has that pain been going on? About three weeks. About three weeks. Was that an accident? Yeah. Okay. So what I want you to do right now, and anybody can jump in for any reason themselves, Let's all just kind of do it together so we're not focusing on you. Uh, with me, if you like. I'm inviting you. You don't have to. Father, Father thank you. Thank you. You sent your son, Jesus. You sent your son, Jesus. And now through your Holy Spirit. Now through your Holy Spirit. We receive. We receive. The blood wash forgiveness. The blood wash forgiveness. Of our sins. Of our sins. Of anything in our lives. Of anything in our lives. Things done. Things done. Things we missed. Things we missed. Oof, and I want you to remember that accident right now. That You don't have to say it. Just remember the accident, the details, whether you were involved a little bit or somebody else, and not the blame game, but just whatever it was, maybe it was whatever it might have been. And I want you to take the same forgiveness you've just received and now put it into the memory of that accident. Put it into your epigenetic memory cell. Let it drink it in now, the word, right now. There it is now. And now the draining that I saw is beginning to take place now. Do a little business with Dad. Abba, Daddy. Abba, Daddy. That's it. Ooh. You. I'm your kid. I'm your kid. And you love me. And you it's happening me. because you love me. It's yeah. Because you love me. Wow. Right. I'm your kid. I'm your kid. I'm your kid. I'm your kid. It's like I'm giving my son the, the bouncy house. And the dad, dad I'm your just, favorite there it is. <laughs> How much more? God loves us at least as much mm. as the person who loves us the most on the face mm. of the earth. Mm. Chew that baby. Mm. <laughs> Woo. How's it feeling right there? Good. It's Moved? Mm -hmm. To the side? Okay, right here. Mm -hmm. There it is. Three in one oil. Remember, how many people remember three in one oil? <laughs> Let it drip. <laughs> there it is. Oil is a sign of the anointing. Three in one, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. 
Trinity Oil Company. Trin Trinity Oil Company, how may we help you? <laughs> Loop me up, Lord. I can't believe he did that. <laughs> Drives religious spirit. <laughs> <laughs> it went, didn't it? <laughs> How goofy is that, huh? Don't ask me. I, I, don't, I don't write them. I just follow through. <laughs> and so he sticks his finger into my head and goes, <laughs> where's that in the book? Make a joyful noise. I've had people, I had a guy leave the Charlotte healing rooms because he said, you haven't way too much fun, it can't be God. <laughs> he says, you're absolutely right, but I got the microphone, get your own meeting. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> you're beautiful. <laughs> now, this is not a formula. Don't be going around, the pastor will shoot me. I'm the, I'm the first church of the reformed blood covered. This is not a formula. I heard the Holy Spirit say, pop, pop. <laughs> So if you hear the Holy Spirit go, pop, pop, you better ask him what that means. Don't blame me. <laughs> Be the gift you are. If you minister seriously, I'm all about that, and I'm with you. If you just recite the word, if it's in your heart, then recite the word. That works. It's beautiful. You can get to the point of becoming intercession and say no word whatsoever. You can sing a little song. You can do whatever you want to do, as long as you're hearing from the Holy Ghost. Hear from the Holy Spirit. He talks to us all differently. Hear me. It's not a formula. It's... it's and I'm not being, well, a little bit, <laughs> religiously irreligious. I don't do, I don't do that. To... The first time I did something like that, I was at James Berkeley. You probably know Kathy Berkeley had James Berkeley. You know, at the time he's in heaven, her, her, her husband, Judah Praise Center. And I'm at Judah Praise for the first time. And we're at the Buzz Inn up in Marysville, which is a steakhouse. And we're having, we're, we're, yeah, we're having lunch. And a lady comes up to me, and she, I recognize her. And, and she says, I, I was in your meeting. I said, oh, oh nice. I'm going to go to your meeting tonight. I said, well, that's lovely. She said, would uh, God heal my ear? I said, well, what's wrong with it? I said, well, the, go the dog ate my hearing aid. I said, what? I said, sure. That's great. Maybe, maybe it'd be better if it just, you want God to heal your ear. Yeah, yeah. So uh, please hear me. I went. I think in some some circles it's called a wet willy. <laughs> but that's not what I was thinking. So I just went. <laughs> I'll never forget it. I said, well, what are you feeling? She goes, not so loud, Sonny. Her exact words. Her hearing came back on the spot. And you think God had healed my knees? Why not? He's here. I was being a little flippant, you know. I was just fooling around. But what, one thing I, I did is I took the atmosphere because all the waiters and waitresses they were it was the end of lunch and they were cleaning up, filling the salts and cleaning the ketchups and doing the stuff and and they're kind of looking around. I say, "So all right, God's just healing this woman. Is it okay if He continues to heal here?" And they all scurried. <laughs> and then their heads came around the corner, as they often will. But you take the atmosphere. You release the word. You get the word in you, you release it. You can say it, or you can release it. We're coming to a time when we are going to become intercession, and we are going to do things in a way that only the dark side has, has perfected something. Not perfected, but advanced in some spirituals. That, that some, that you see some of those movies where you see flying things and witches and all kinds of stuff. And I think there was a, a, a movie called Hidden Dragon, Coaching Tiger, and it showed all this witchcraft type stuff that everybody thought was just TV stuff. The enemy does that stuff. And we're at the verge of taking it back.
We've been training teams for 10 plus years with Jim and Faith Chosa to the point of becoming intercession. And I said, I don't know what we're going to do. I'm, again, I got in the natural. I got my head out of heaven. I said, what are we going to do with all this COVID stuff? How are we going to get to the nations? He says, you're going to the nations. I said, you prophesying? You're going to the nations, Kevin, but not only the way that you thought you were. We're going in the spirit. Now, if that stretches your head, good. Because impartation, you mentioned it already. Put your hands up if you want to. If you want, now this isn't magic. It doesn't mean you're going to fly tonight and be in Botswana or something. All right. But believe it and watch for things that you never before. Stretch your wineskin so when the wine gets poured, you'll be able to drink it in. <coughs> whoa. Mm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Father, I don't even have words for this, Daddy. So just, <laughs> Cheryl. That's better than Tylenol. <laughs> Thank you, Father, for who you are. Thank you for what you're doing. Papa, you are wonderful. Mm. You are full of wonder. We are in a new place. Ooh. And yes, we are about to resound the whispers of your heart that they would become a roar in the ears of the enemy that would make the enemy tremble in fear. Give him a gut punch. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Irv, aisle four and five, aisle four and five. <laughs> send in the ushers, send in the ushers. As Wayne Anderson says, he says, that's out of order. He goes, the only thing I saw, they say that in the bathroom, out of order. That, that's. Woo, woo, woo. I am not advocating craziness and silliness. I am advocating whatever the Holy Spirit wants to do. Big difference. Big difference. You guys go right ahead. Have a blast. A merry band of traveling Isaacs. Isaacs, Isaacs. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, whoa, hey, mm. Ooh. Let her rip. And that was only three drops of oil. <laughs> Imagine if he had turned on the spigot. <laughs> Wayne Anderson always said, you know, you pray for God to pour out his spirit on you, and we do. He said, but if he were to pour out the fullness of who he is, he says, he'd blow your arms and legs off. <laughs> I fell down in church Sunday. I got blasted in the Holy Ghost. I got hit with a lightning bolt. I fell down. They started praying for me. I said, I'm all right. <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong? I said, I'm overcome by the presence of the Father's love. Yeah. Don't pray me sober, please. Yeah. Yeah, we got, well, that's another whole story. <laughs> I was asked to leave because the cashiers kept breaking into holy laughter and they couldn't cash us out. <laughs> There's a whole generation of young people that never knew the moves that went on in the 90s. The stuff, it was crazy stuff that happened. Wayne Anderson couldn't get a haircut for years because when barbers came near him with scissors, they fell down. Two years. He was inebriated. Two Wayne, <laughs> fathering spirit, Mister Everything and Everything. He says homeostasis is your ability to handle the drink. It's the exact opposite of being a somebody in the Bowery. When I was drinking, my my system could handle more and more liquor, and then finally it broke down. Couldn't handle it anymore. Downward spiral of alcoholism. The drink in the spirit is totally different. Your homeostasis, your ability to handle the drink without showing it, increases. I says, you're ripped, aren't you? <laughs> and he's just like this. 
his ability to handle God's presence, the container, maybe a better way of saying it. It's not about the drunk drinkenness, and that offends some people. They may have alcoholism in their family. I get that. So I'm not making light of that. But if you want to say, if you don't like to drink, well, you don't like wine, then you can say, what else in the New Testament? Bread, oil, water. Mix them together, you get bread. Bread and wine, you're back at the table. <laughs> It's okay, but it's not what we set out to do. Tim Caton released the terosh, which is the Hebrew word for new wine, at an I am convening a couple years ago. He stirred it up big time. It was, it was so crazy. Richard Wilson, who will probably be here sometime, Pastor Rick, and, and, and it was jumping up and down like I hadn't seen him. Uh, hallelujah, and Rick's, hallelujah, hallelujah. I mean, it was, the whole place was crazy. I walked over to the Brennan's, you know, Michael Brennan, Michael and Miriam, right? I walked over to the front row and put my hand on Michael, and the whole row fell out, fell down. <laughs> it was just, it hit. It was not me, it was just him. He was just like, the place was crazy, out of control. Wow. It was, and, but, but that was, we didn't plan that to happen, and we didn't squelch it to happen. The Holy Spirit had it happen. If I try to make that happen again, that's out of order. That's not right. Yeah. That's a drinking party which is, might be two or three friends get together. That's a different story. But you're not trying to do that. that that's what you, we want to do what the Holy Spirit wants to do. There's times he wants to teach. There's times he wants to do serious stuff. There's times he wants to, and then there's other times, like tonight, that's awesome. Again, this is not a reproof. You go right ahead if you want to. <laughs> it, it is what it is. But it's, yeah, it's, yeah. That's better than a massage. <laughs> And it's free. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's okay. There's, there's people that, I mean, I, I, just some, I mean, first time I went to Toronto, I was with my other friend Kevin. And now there was some stuff there that was flesh. And those people who wanted it so bad, they were trying to make things happen. And that wasn't God. But you know, somebody said, well, pinch yourself. You're flesh. I get that. I'm flesh, okay? But there, were, there was a move of God there. There were people, and the ch they split the church. There were people that just didn't want that to happen, and I get that. You know, I didn't let the people that were upset, because I was there. I was new, and I was a recovered, newly recovered alcoholic, you know? And I was doing those meetings that we don't talk about, okay? <laughs> and so, anyways, and, and, and I'm there, and the guy gets on, and he looked. There was a guy up there from Arkansas. He had a youth group. He had a big, curly head of hair. looked like the... A TV guy that used to be the um, uh, Gene Shalit was a uh, big, yeah, he was a, what do you call it, a movie critic. Yeah, TV, big. And he had the group, and he got hit with the Holy Ghost. I'm in the 10th row. And I've come to hear the word. <laughs> I've come to hear the word. <laughs> and this guy starts laughing. Look at my friend Kevin. Is this what this is like? Right? and it rolled off the stage. Guy couldn't preach. It rolled. By the time it got to about row eight, I started to say, I will ne and boom. <laughs> and I'm rolling on the floor picking up lint. <laughs> and I get two guys, I call them click and clack. They were the prayer team. They come around and kick my shoe with their shoe and just said, more. And I laughed. I rolled under a fire extinguisher with a red arrow pointing down that said, fire. <laughs> I'm burning up, and I thought I was the funniest thing I ever said. I said, it's not working. <laughs> I, got to, I don't know what I got delivered of, but it was some hanging around my spleen someplace. I know I've been there for generations. It went, and everything changed. I was so scared, having, because I was an alcoholic, I, thought I, had, I actually went home and thought I had cheated. And the male fellow was mentoring me, was Holy Spirit guy, and he said, okay, you're all right, don't worry, just okay. And so from that point, today I get from his presence with an increasing homeostasis more than I ever tried to get in the world. And I'm not speaking against drinking, I'm not a clothesline preacher, I'm just saying, for me, I'm not doing that, okay? And I get more than I ever, God just blesses me when I'm praying for people, that it flows through me. And sometimes I get, I couldn't, I couldn't get out of the chair Sunday. 
My wife's looking at me, laughing. The people, is he all right? Is he all right? Is he all right? Is he all right? Yeah, he's fine. He's just, they hadn't been used to that. It's a new experience for them somewhat. So and that's okay. It's all good. So here, why don't we all stand together? Let's, let's take the hand of the person next to you if they'll let you. Here we go. Woo, 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 woo. Thank you, Lord. So thank you for listening to me. Thank you for the ramblings of a, of a southern Idahoan. <laughs> um, this was big for me tonight. I haven't ministered in a group since July up in Seattle. That was the only time I ministered all summer. So uh, the Holy Spirit said, just show up and be the gift you are. So if it seemed like it was a little disconnected, it's because in the natural it was. <laughs> but I'm sure he's doing things, as we've seen. So all glory goes to the Father. All glory goes to the Father. And Pastor, I thank you for the opportunity to come. And we'll be here tomorrow night. I'm, right? I, I'm, I'm welcome back, right? Yeah. Tomorrow night. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, and you those lack. Thank you. The pastor's going to let me come back. <laughs> so, Daddy, Papa, thank you. We laugh and we giggle. And it seems like we, I don't mean to have it seem like we're, I don't care. You died so that that substance is the most precious substance in the universe. And so, Father, I might take myself, maybe not all that serious, but I take your love, Father, your Son, your Holy Spirit, and you, Daddy God, very seriously. And so thank you for letting us have some laughter tonight, some healing tonight, some deliverance tonight. In a season that's opening up to us now where we're awakening to the victory that we are. The we identity of what we can do when we come together. Not I, but we identity when we come together. Thank you for the laughter and the joy tonight in the midst of all the bad news out there. A chance to awaken to who we are, you know. And thank you, Daddy. We leave the devil in the lurch because, Holy Spirit, you said it's okay to laugh in church. <laughs> and it's okay to cry in church. And it's okay to be serious in church. It's okay to hit your knees in lamentation in church. It's okay for you to yield to whatever the Holy Spirit's doing to you at any given point in time. Tonight, for most of us, it was laughter. If it wasn't and your heart was sad, well then, I'm sorry that, that maybe that came against where you're at, but that was not my intent in any way to hurt anyone or disparage them or to take you lightly. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. We are the ecclesia, and we are arising in victory. And you have got your hand on this country. There's been too much that has gone around the world from the beginning of this country to let it go down. And I proclaim tonight, it shall not pass. Darkness shall not pass. Joy arises. The church, we arise. We don't come against flesh and blood, but powers and principalities and spiritual wickedness. And we, we don't, we just, we just, re, we don't scream at demons we release the love and let the light in him, John 1, 4, was life, and the life was the light of men. And so tonight, turn on the light, Papa. Let it shine bright. I said, let it shine bright. Tonight is the night that you get to shine bright. Ooh. Mm-mm-mm. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa, whoo, higher and higher, brighter and brighter. Whoa, thank you, Jesus, for who you are and what you've done. And I proclaim an abundance over this church in this season. And any transitions that you may be facing, you will be open to them. I've had a talk with pastors, so I'm not being Chuck Pierce here, I'm Kevin. I'm taking what I know and putting the sword in the ground apostolically. Whew. There will be a grace upon any transition in this house. And for each and every person that their ears would be open to hear what the Holy Spirit is saying and together as one 
you can move as a victorious kingdom force into what the Lord would have you do in northern Idaho now. So let the light attract others. And everybody said? Yeah. Woo. Thank you. Woo. Wow. A little wobbly. Hey, hey, hey. The transition that we talked about was a new place. So we're believing the Lord for that. Keep praying into that. Okay? I charge you. Keep praying into it. The Lord's bringing something. So, yeah. All right. So here's the deal. Two things. There's a giving basket in the back. If you want to give a love offering in, uh, to Kevin, you're welcome to. Um, we're also giving an honorarium, so don't feel the pressure to do that. Also, the other thing is, if you, did, if you came tonight and uh, you didn't get prayed for, but you need prayer for something in your body, then still do it. Yes? Okay. God, just because there wasn't a word of knowledge doesn't mean that God's not able and that God's not willing. Okay? It doesn't take a word of knowledge to, to, for you to be healed. So, get, get your healing. You know? Everyone who came to Jesus was healed. Every one of them. It said that in a few, a few places through the Gospels and then in Acts 10.38 also. He healed everyone who came to him and delivered them because he was anointed with... Uh, uh, he did good through the anointing of the Holy Spirit that was on him, and I'm butchering it, but it's something like that. <laughs> so... I, I need it. Yeah. <laughs> Paraphrase. The, that's the DCV, Dan Chance version. Um, so, so uh, anyway, come, come, come get prayed for, you know, or grab people next to you and get that prayer because it's not Kevin and it's not any of us. It's just Holy Spirit. So, yeah. He wants it more than you do, by the way. God wants you healed more than you want to be healed? Can you, can you receive that one? Okay. Whole new skeleton. There you go. Yeah. Just, psh, yeah. He's got it all. So, yeah. So, Lord, we thank you for what you have released tonight. And that is not just for us here. It's for the church. The church. We send it out in the spirit right now to the church in this whole region. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you for the joy and the laughter rising up. That is violent against hell. <laughs> it's violent against the bad news. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, I, I prophesy over you that there will be times where you just break out in laughing when you least expect it. It's just going to happen. You might be driving and ha, 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 you start laughing. You might be walking down the aisle in the grocery store. You might be getting pumping gas. Yeah, I don't know what you'll be doing, but just times when the Holy Spirit just hits you and laughter starts breaking out. That's going to happen to some of us. Yeah. And when that happens, understand it's not just a blessing to you that the Lord's actually using you as intercession. Uh, breaking something demonic. Thank you, Lord. Yep. How would you... That's fun intercession right there. Yeah. I know Benny Johnson, Bill Johnson's wife, wrote a book, Happy Intercessor. Laughing intercessor, laughing intercession. That sounds pretty happy. So, yeah. We're in a Greek yeah. Diner in, here, here. We're in a Greek diner in Shrewsbury, New Jersey, where my wife grew up on the Jersey Shore. My 12-year-old granddaughter was with us, and she'd been introduced to, to Jesus. And, you know, she's, she's 24 now or something. But we were on vacation down at the beach, and the holy laughter hits us in the middle of this busy Greek restaurant. 
and my granddaughter, and well, I mean, we're just, we're, we're not holding it back. We're just laughing and laughing, and, and she, granddaughter Meryl turns around and goes, Holy Spirit just told a joke. <laughs> I said, yeah. 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 All right. There you go. So we receive, we believe, and we live. Right? All right. Blessings on you. I love you. Thank you for being the gift that you are. Yeah. We get to do it tomorrow night. Bring more yeah, yeah, yeah. 630 tomorrow night. Yep. Bring people who need a touch. So, all right. So Kevin's up here if you want to get prayer. All right. <laughs>